Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade Robinson and today this is gonna be a a passion twist tutorial, but jumbo style. These are actually pretty popular and I've been wanting to try them for a long time, but I just have it so i wanted to try them out and i already kind of knew how to do single lace twists i just never recorded it but i've done them myself before a few years ago and so ooh, i just wanted to show you guys how to do them if you don't know how to do them this is not the rubber band method this is oh my gosh just one piece so this is not the rubber band method this is the the regular traditional method um without the braid without the rubber band this is just how you twist it at the root and then continue it all the way down um, so if you want to know how you can get your hair like this Please keep watching and then I'm not gonna talk at the end of this video So please like and subscribe and let me know if you like this style and if you tried it And if it worked for you and if it didn't work for you if you have any question like any question at all Like please leave them in the description box. No, please leave them in the comment section below Where to get the hair what kind of hair how many packs how long it took Just ask me so everybody have a great day thank you so much for watching this video bye okay starting off with freshly washed hair i'm gonna show you the products that i use so i use five packs of braiding hair um leave-in conditioner oil my braiding rack of course and then edge control oh and then i use some um some like foaming lotion for the end so when you want to anything you do to your hair braid your hair twist your hair you want to like split it into um one two three into four parts so two in the front one in the middle one in the back so the one in the back is going to be like a square that you go straight across from your ears and then the one in the middle was kind of like a triangle-ish shape and then the little two pieces to two parts of the front so these since these are jumbo braids my parts are pretty chunky especially in the back you can't see the back so this is your opportunity to kind of be lazy in the back so what you want to do is you want to take the hair and you want to split each piece into two. So each piece of hair you want to split it into two. And then um, you kind of want to stagger it so that you can get whatever length you want um, of hair. So take each piece, split it into two, then try to stagger it together to where the ends aren't equal. And then just put it on your braiding rack. So I do all of that first. So you take each piece and this part I'm gonna go kind of fast and then I'm gonna make it go slower in like the future parts so you can kind of skip through this part if you want to see exactly how you do it but this is how you do the back if you're not sure how to do the back of your hair just kind of put your hands in a certain position so that you can reach the back just do whatever is comfortable for you um, honestly when I did knotless braids I did regular box braids in the back and then knotless braids in the middle and the front so if you got to do a braid first then just do what you got to do because nobody will see it but you yeah so this is how you do the ones in the back okay so now I'm pretty much almost done I'm just gonna show you um, how to part it I actually had a request on how to part it so this is how I part this is how you part your hair. So I use the rat tail comb. And you can use like a, a reference point on your face, maybe your eyebrow or um, your eye or something to get the parts kind of in the same position on both sides. And then you just put the metal part flat and hard against your scalp and just go straight. So that's how I part the long the long parts. And then the short um, the square is like the actual box for the box braid. I use the, the actual like plastic comb part. So you'll see in a second. So like the, instead of using the metal rat tail end, I use like the comb part and that's how I do like shorter parts. But it's harder to do a long part with a, like with the rat tail part. Does that make sense? It's harder to do a long part with the rubber part. Okay, so you take the hair Make sure it's as long as you want it. And then you want to twist it. So both of your fingers are going to go in the opposite direction. That way. <laughs> so twist it first. Twist it, twist it until it's kind of tight. Then you want to attach one of the sides on top of, of the piece that's closest to you. So put it on top of it. And then you want to wrap it in the same direction you were going around the braid so basically you're making like a a roll like a like a roller set but to the scalp so you want to roll it to the scalp then get the other hair and just watch my hands so you want to make them 
I guess kind of switch places. So take one piece and switch places with the other one, right? And then grab the other one from the bottom and then twist it in the same direction that you were going. Twist it, twist it, twist it. And then you'll feel it getting tight on your root right now. So just twist out in the same direction and then when it gets really tight, then they switch positions again and you twist it in the same direction. And the direction I chose is towards you, but it kind of all depends on your dominant hand and which direction. Just make sure when you pick a direction, stick with that direction. And then, um, so the, the, the root of these twists are essentially just single ease twists. And that's how you make sure that it stays in your hair and that it doesn't slip or anything. But then once you kind of twist it a few rows down you can just do a regular flat twist without um, all the twisting and that's how you get it to kind of look passiony that makes sense like the the natural um, look and so you just want to alternate between doing like a single ease twist and a flat twist and then you can pull it to make it look more um, I don't know the word I'm looking for but just to make it look more messy and natural looking and then I make sure I do um, a single ease twist near like where my hair is ending so that it stays in and then just continue with the flat twist and then pull to just uh, make it tight every now and then. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to do this one all the way down to the bottom so you can see how to make your twists um, last, how to make them stay. So when you get to the bottom, that's when you want to start sharing so sharing basically just means taking hair from each side and just putting it in the other side so that you just share it. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to do fast, but I'll slow it down for you. So you just want to share hair at the end and that's what keeps the twist from coming from unraveling. And at the end, you just take a little edge control and make a little twist and then cut off any excessive pieces and that's pretty much it. Alright, so let's do it again. Twist, twist, twist. Attach on top. And then you want to twist in one direction. Pick a direction, any direction. I choose um, towards me. And then once that gets tight, you want to switch, switch it with the other side. And it's, it's going over the top and the other one's coming underneath. And then make it go in the same direction until you feel it getting really tight and then twist it again all right and then once you get the root all secure just continue with the flat twist all the way down and then when you get to the end of your own hair go back to doing a single ease twist with the actual with the actual like um rolling and then twisting and then you could pull it and yeah it's pretty simple once you kind of get your own technique then it just works out i just cut my own hair just now but it's fine <laughs> And do the same thing for every twist when you get to the bottom and you're almost done just start sharing and this works for braids twists anything that you're trying to do like a protective style where the end isn't um where the end can unravel if you just share hair towards the end then it makes it just stay in place and it makes it not unravel And this is the last twist I'm gonna show you. So it's the same exact step. Um, twist it at the root on one side, and then grab the other side, and make one to go over the top. Grab it from the bottom, and then twist it in the same direction towards you. Twist it, twist it, twist it until you feel it getting tight. 
minutes. So let's jump again. Now sometimes when I'm doing this, I do kind of mess up my um, hand movements and the hair kind of rolls over each other and it doesn't stay secure. That's fine, just start back over until you get a method that works for you and then just keep trying. And it helps if you like let your hands kind of give a little bit, hold it tight, but let your let the let them like twist over over each other if that makes sense. Um, don't hold it so tight to where when you sw switch places it makes it straight. I don't know when you're doing this, you'll see you you'll know what I'm talking about. But just let them twist over each other how they want to, and then continue with the flat twist until you get to the end of your hair and then that's when you can do a single lace twist again and just alternate back and forth and put some edge control on it by your real hair so that it'll blend better and you see how that part that part is a single lace twist and then right after I get done with that, just continue to do a flat twist. And a flat twist just means you're just merely just um, putting your hair in a twist, but you're not putting a, a turn on each strand. You're like you're not twisting each strand individually. All right, so this is the completed product. You want to take foam lotion and put that all throughout the hair, like a lot, a lot, a lot, through the ends, through the roots. Yeah, this is how you're going to seal your hair because you don't dip these. Well, I didn't dip mine. I don't know if anybody else dipped theirs, but since you're not dipping them, you want to make sure that they stay nice and neat. So just put some setting foam lotion over everything. Make sure you really saturate it and then just wrap it um, for the night. And then I also put a bonnet over this. And that's pretty much all and I go to sleep and then this is me the next day and uh, I just took my hair down just so I can show you guys how to finish it so this is what it, they look like when I took the scarf off and I like to wear my hair to the side you can wear it however you may like just so want to take some edge control or um, some eco styler and maybe a toothbrush or edge brush and I don't use this toothbrush for my teeth guys this is like strictly me and my sister's edge brush and then just do your edges how you want and that's pretty much it and you see like I have like a little piece with some hair sticking out so you can try to like open up the twist a little bit more and then retwist it back in there that worked for me um yeah and this is a completed product they're pretty long in the front and the back and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please, again, just feel free to ask me. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Are you going to be the girl or the boy? Oh, I got boy. Oh, baby. When the hell of a chemistry. Okay. I am singing. And more, baby. Ooh. Destiny when I'm with you in case of being